Hi, I'm Mark from Woodworker Source, and I'm going to demonstrate how you take a regular piece of walnut like this and make the color really come to life. So one of the major troubles with walnut is seen right here in this cabinet door. It was finished with a clear polyurethane finish, and yet over time the wood has turned tan. Notice that nice rich brown color in that raw board sitting on top. It's quite the difference. And walnut also contains pale sapwood. But I want my walnut to look like this. And fortunately, there's a way to do that. So there's a simple four-step process that you do to make the color come out exactly how you want. You start off by applying a UV resistant and fade resistant dye. You move on and apply a really thin coat of a sanding sealer and then sand that smooth. And then you come over here and apply a oil-based stain that you wipe on and wipe off really quickly. And then your final step is just to apply your lacquer or polyurethane, whatever you prefer. So to go without saying that the first thing to do is test out the process on a few different boards. That way you can get the color dialed in to be exactly the way that you want it. Perhaps what you want to do is try a couple different dilutions of dye and maybe two or three different stain colors. And then once you've figured out what you want, that way you can replicate that on your project and then perhaps replicate that on the, another project down the road. And what I did was finally settle it on this color. So why don't I show you how I did that? The dye I used is Balin's Solar Lux dye, American Walnut color, and I've diluted it 50% with its reducer. Zinser's Seal Coat is my sealer of choice. Then I used Old Master's Gel Stain Dark Walnut color. And finally, I finished it off with Deft Spray Lacquer. And don't forget, these are the handy supplies to use when you're finishing. Using my foam brush, I'm going to apply the dye, and again, it's diluted 50%. I do have to move fast because it does dry quickly. Then after just a few seconds, I can do another coat. Now with the dye applied, you can see that the heartwood and the sapwood are becoming the same color. Second step is to apply the sealer, in this case that's Zinser Seal Coat, which dries crystal clear and it sands very quickly. I only apply just one coat and then let that dry and take this flexible sanding sponge and sand it down nice and smooth. The third step is to wipe on an oil-based stain. In this case I used Old Master's Dark Walnut Gel Stain. And then you wipe it off. And now that I have the color where I want it to be, it's time to apply my finish. And here's my final piece with three coats of lacquer. Now I have the color exactly the way I like it, and it'll last a long time.